OK, so there we are. We've got a rough half a pair of shorts. And yeah, you can do what you like, really. You can design things and you know, make it a bit more fancy or put a split in or you know whatever you like at this stage. Uh, but just for now, we're going to have a plain pair of shorts. Uh, and we need to mirror them. So press S to go to symmetry. Click the x-axis and you see there that we've got a pair of shorts uh, which more or less meets up. Now they don't have the back and that's alright, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm going to adjust that in a moment. Uh, but at the front, I'm just going to move these apart because I do want an extra uh, you know, ring of geometry down there just to keep it distinct. Now at this stage you probably make the uh, same uh, thing I do. You can't move on this side of the model because it doesn't exist yet. If you're doing your work you have to do it on the side you started out with. Okay. So make any adjustments in, the, uh, in this bit that you want. Uh, but I'm happy with that. Uh, I might move these a bit closer together. Now the reason I'm leaving this open is because while we're modelling here this is going to do its absolute best to stick to the geometry which means a lot of it's going to slide into uh, bottom there and become a bit distorted. Now when I've finished doing uh, all of the adjustments that we're going to do oops, I'm on the wrong side uh, I'm going to add that in and it won't because we're just going to put a single poly across Okay. So as I said, that mesh doesn't exist yet on that side. To make it exist, you have to press symmetry, uh, and then when you turn off your symmetry plane uh, with S and no symmetry, it's all there. Uh, if you have symmetry on, you can still do your moves and such, and it will work. Uh, but this stage, I want symmetry off. So first of all, uh, for the most part, I want to join this bit up at the front. And that's simple. Uh, I'm just going to move those down so they're consistent. Uh, points and faces, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. Until we uh, get to the, the back uh, where I'm going to uh, do something else for that. Okay. So at this time I want to make the, uh, the mesh a bit better, uh, I want to make it uh, more high resolution uh, and I want to make it uh, fit better. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is hit relax. Now that uh, adjusts the mesh and just makes it a bit more uh, compatible or more consistent with the underlying mesh. So as you can see it's neatened up the squares. Uh, it's neatened up just about everything uh, and it's all looking very lovely. Uh, obviously at this level of uh, polygons it's not going to produce the greatest uh, piece of clothing in the world um, so I'm also going to subdivide. So that's given us a, a much higher uh, level of vertices. Uh, it's only 800 or so, 880, uh, so it's not too bad. And Lastly, we're going to add some uh, geometry down the back. Hopefully this will uh, not distort too much and try and uh, stick to the bottom. So points and faces then. Right click, right click, right click, right click. All the way, whoops, that's not right is it? See, it's being slightly contrary about its selection, but you know we accept that. This is where I might have to uh, drag out the lines tool, or the strokes tool rather. Just join up your verts, and as you can see down here, we're going to get to a stage. Oops. 
<laughs> it's going to get to a stage where it uh, needs some triangles. Now that's really annoying because these splines have, of course, um, adhered themselves to her bottom, which is exactly what I don't want, so I can't use that at this stage. Uh, but what I can try perhaps is the quads tool. So select a face, click on a point, click on a point, should fill in. Point, point, face, point, point. Sometimes it's a little bit erratic about uh, where it thinks you're pointing. Um, you know, it's a bit of trial and error really. Uh, if you've got the right one it'll work, if you haven't it won't. That's not the right one. That's not to say you can't just simply move to the uh, move tool uh, and weld it in. Uh, I can't remember whether I mentioned it or not. <laughs> My memory is terrible. Uh, if you use the move tool and move it towards something, let go, it will weld it. Shan't belabor that too much because I've probably told you already. Okay. So, just got one more to add down here. Uh, and then we're in a situation where uh, we're going to have to have some triangles. Which is annoying, but not the end of the world. So we've created one triangle on that side. I might have to uh, do a bit of finessing here to make this work properly. Uh, I'll show you the cap tool just for a moment. If you go over a space which is uh, unfilled, uh, centre the mouse on it and left click, it will fill it in. But it will fill it in with tries. That's not the end of the world because you just use the del edges to remove the edges you don't want in there and you've got a quad back ok I know it's not perfect and it's not great but uh, it's better than having her bottom or all the geometry going uh, directly into her bum uh, so I'm just going to move these out a bit so I want to move uh, vertices get onto edge loops and move those in so it's moving it closer into a bottom, I know, but uh, these are the brakes. So I, I don't think that's too bad. Uh, I'd probably prefer a little bit more geometry uh, to be in the bottom area. But to be honest, I just don't want it going too far into a bump. Um, it's a lovely bump, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it just makes it all more, more confusing. Let's go back to just vertices again. Uh, move that one Put it out a bit, and that one. Now, as it is, it looks all right. Uh, but what you can do now to neaten things up a bit is up the Z bias which will fix some of the uh, poke through issues you might have uh, and then use the extrusion tool and what this will do is move it away from the body uh, which will then help us in Poser to uh, have it as a, an independent model if you don't use any extrusion uh, what happens is when you import the mesh it will almost be the identical size and shape of your base mesh uh, which you don't want because you can use it then. So that's it uh, for this part, really. You know the geometry you use and you know how dense it is and all that sort of stuff is entirely you know your own uh, preferences. Uh, the only thing we have to do now is sort the UVs out. Uh, you